we're turning for these closing moments tonight to the Old Testament, and we're turning to the prophecy of Isaiah. And we're in Isaiah, the prophecy this evening of Isaiah chapter 55. Isaiah chapter 55, please. The book of Psalms, if you come to the book of Psalms, then it's Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and then it's the Song of Solomon. And then we come to the prophecy of Isaiah. And we're in Isaiah chapter 55. And commencing to read from verse number one, please. Ho, every one that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. And he that hath no money, come ye by, and eat. Ye come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfieth not? And you know, friends, this evening, it really touches my heart tonight concerning the sadness in people's hearts. So many people today suffer from an inner sadness. No matter what they have, there's an, in, there's an inner sadness in people. Wonder is that you tonight? You have an inner sadness tonight. There's an inner cry tonight. An inner cry that's longing for something. Wonder are you longing for something tonight, friends? So many people tonight have this inner sadness. They've got this inner cry, this inner longing that they cannot seem to get satisfied. Last Lord's Day, I was walking down the street there, and I noticed just across the way there was a young fella come out of one of the shops out with a big carton of Budweiser. And I said to myself, that young lad is to be pitied more than anything else. You see, friends, this is what verse 2 is telling us tonight. People spending money wholesale, spending money on drink, spending money on drugs to try and drown this inner sadness, to try and satisfy this inner longing. But my friend tonight, listen to me, sin doesn't hold a tonic. All sin holds tonight is trouble. Thank God tonight, there is one that satisfies. There's one that really satisfies. And that's the Lord Jesus tonight. I can tell you something now, friends. A person can have many things on the outside. But if you don't have Christ tonight, you have nothing. The Lord Jesus said in John chapter, John's gospel tonight, chapter 6, verse 35. You know what the Lord Jesus said? He said, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. He that believeth in me shall never thirst. I want to say tonight, the Lord Jesus Christ is the answer for the longing soul. The Lord Jesus Christ tonight is the answer for that inner sadness. 
The Lord Jesus tonight is the answer for that longing cry. Friend, tonight, what are you spending? What are you running off tonight? What are you longing for tonight? To satisfy that inner longing that lies deep within your soul and within your heart. I've got good news for you tonight. There is an answer for your longing. There is an answer for your sadness. There's an answer for your cry. And that answer tonight is the Lord Jesus. I want you to look at my text tonight. It's Isaiah chapter 55, and it's, it's verse 3. Look what it says. Incline your ear and come unto me. Hear, and your soul shall live. And we know that the Lord will add His blessing to that text and to that reading from His own precious truth. In that text tonight, there, first of all, is a plea that has sounded tonight. A plea. You know, friends, tonight, God pleads with men. God pleads with women. God pleads for sinners. God pleads with sinners. And here's the plea that has sounded tonight. Will you listen to it? Incline your ear. You know, my dear friends, tonight God has some lovely things to say to us. But the big problem is tonight we close our ears to God. We close our ears to the lovely things that God has got to say to us. And that's why man still can't find what he longs for, because he closes his ears to God. Now listen, sir, don't you close your ears to God tonight. God says to you, listen. Because you see, friends, tonight, the big problem is Everybody's listening to every Tom, Dick, and Harry who offer no hope. People will tell you, ah, oh, but you need this, and, and you need that, and you need the other thing. Let me tell you what you need tonight, friend. You need Christ tonight. You need Christ tonight. You know, friends, this evening... Isaiah 28 and verse 23, we read these words, Give ye ear and hear my voice, voice, hearken and hear my speech. If only people tonight would only listen to what the Lord says. Do you know what you'll find tonight? If you incline your ear to the Lord and to His voice and listen to what the Lord has got to say, you'll find that the Lord has a lot to say about life. So many people tonight are unsatisfied because they don't know anything about life. What does the Lord Jesus say? The Lord Jesus, He says, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Do you know, friends, tonight so many people think that life is found in a bottle. You take your pubs on a Saturday night and you take your pubs on a Friday night. Why are they packed for? Why, are your, why does your, out, out, uh, why does your uh, off license do great business? Do you know why your off license does great business for? Because people's looking for life. But they're looking for life in a bottle. 
And so many friends drink themselves stupid because they think that life's in a bottle. But once the drink's gone, what are you left with? An empty bottle, just like your heart, sir, an empty heart. You say to me, well, George McCall, how would you know anything about that? I'll tell you, for I did it myself. I did it myself. I was walking down Nothing on Clay Street yesterday. Look, we walked down the street, just me and the dog, and I stopped outside where the Diamond Bar used to be, Avon Corns. And I stopped outside, it's long gone, long closed now, and I stopped outside it, and I just stared in at the building itself, and I says, Lord, thank you. You know what was there where the Lord first spoke to me? The Lord didn't speak to me in a meeting or in a service. And I could tell you, I could take you to the spot where I was sitting, you know, and the Lord that night, sitting there on that bar stool, the Lord spoke to my heart. I didn't know it was the Lord speaking, but I can tell you I know it now. Because that night there was an emptiness that flooded my heart, flooded my soul, flooded my mind. You see, I thought life was in a bottle too. I thought this was life. And I remember watching the bubbles going up the glass and thinking, is this life? And yesterday, I just thanked the Lord for that night when He spoke to me there. God can speak to you in any place. God can touch your heart in any place. God can reach you anywhere, love. All God wants you to do tonight is for you to incline your ear and listen. Stuart Hamblin was a drunkard, and he was a gambler and a womanizer. He had no time for the things of God, no time for the people of God. One time, Billy Graham had a great evangelistic campaign in Los Angeles, and Stuart Hamlin went along. And Billy Graham preached that night on the text that I have just quoted, where the Lord Jesus said, I am come that you may have life, and that you might have it more abundantly. Do you know what Stuart Hamlin said? I never felt as empty, I never felt as low. And he says, it was God, the Holy Spirit, that brought me to that point. And that night, I went to Billy Graham's hotel room and sought him out, and I says, Billy, I need the Lord Jesus. I know it's Him that I need. And I long for, will you pray for me? And Billy Graham says, I can't pray for you. You have to pray for yourself. You have to ask the Lord Jesus into your heart yourself. And so he did. And the first song that he was a songwriter, and the first song Stuart Hamblin penned after his conversion was, it is no secret what God can do, what He's done for others. He'll do for you. I'll tell you, friend, the Lord Jesus, if you incline your ear tonight, He'll have some lovely things to say about life. I'll tell you something else. He has some lovely things to say about love. And friend, tonight, do you know the greatest message about love is told at the cross, where the Lord Jesus gave Himself for sinners, gave Himself for you, gave Himself for me, when they crucified Him to Calvary's three. And friend, tonight, it was there where the Son of God loved you and gave Himself for you. There He took upon His body, in His own body, your sin and mine, and there He stayed, friends. And as He hung there, and as He suffered there, and as He was dying there in all the agony and the shame, you remember this tonight, you were on His mind. My dear friend tonight, do you realize God loves you? Do you realize tonight that the Lord Jesus loves you? Do you realize that day when they crucified Him to the cross, 
as they drove the nails through his hands and as they drove the nails through his feet. Oh, friend, you were on his mind. And the Lord Jesus would have you know tonight, I did all that. I went through all that because of you. Incline your ear tonight. Incline your ear. Because I've come that you made of life and that you might have it more abundantly. Ah, but incline your ear tonight. I want you to know that I died for your sin. I shed my precious blood for your sins, and the Lord Jesus is saying to you tonight, incline your ear. Listen to what I have done for you. I have died for you, and I've died for your sin. But I have risen again, and I am alive, and I'm alive forever more, evermore. That's the plea that is sounded, incline your ear. But look at the path that is seen in that text, because it says, incline your ear, and come unto me. That's the path that is seen tonight. There's only one path tonight that's going to take you to heaven. That's the path tonight that leads you to the old rugged cross. It's the path tonight that will lead you to the Lord Jesus Christ. He says tonight, come unto me. The Lord Jesus, friend, not me nor anybody, but the Lord Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. The Lord Jesus says, He says, I am the door. By me, if any man enters in, he shall be saved. Listen, friend, tonight, there's no other pathway. There's no other door tonight. The Lord Jesus is the way to heaven. Maybe this evening you're holding on to your, your christening. Maybe you're holding on to your confirmation. These things are religious. These things may look right and they may feel right. Ah, but they don't save tonight. They don't save. The Lord Jesus Christ says in this text tonight, Come unto me. There's no other Savior. Come unto me tonight. There's no other way because I'm the one tonight who forgives sin. I'm the one tonight that can give you peace. I'm the one tonight that can bring you joy. I'm the one you need tonight. I'm the one you're looking for. I'm the one uh, you're looking for. D.L. Moody preached in Chicago. And he preached on the text, Him that cometh to me, I will in no ways cast out a man, jumped up from the front pew, and he says, Mr. Moody, that doesn't mean me. I can't come. He says, I'm a drunkard. Oh, he says, man, in spite of you being a drunkard, you can come. He jumps up again, and I will say, Mr. Moody, I have deserted my wife and I've deserted my children. Oh, he says, Mom, that's an awful sin you've committed, but you can still come. He jumps up the third time and says, Mr. Moody, I have stolen, I have done jail because of the crime that I have done. Moody looks down and says, Mom, that's an awful sin, but you can still come. And another Man jumps up in the other pew. He says, Mr. Moody, I don't need to come because I'm religious. I don't need to come because I'm good. I don't need to come because I'm this. Moody says, it's not that you can come, sir. You must come. I don't know where you are in life tonight. But here's what the Lord wants you to know tonight. You can come and you must come. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there's none other name under heaven given amongst men whereby we must be saved. That's the path that is seen to me. I love the words of the Lord Jesus. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 11, verse 28. 
Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, I'll give thee rest. That's the path of the scene tonight. Come unto me. But here is the promise that is sure. Come unto me, and your soul shall live. You know, friend, that's a promise tonight that is sure. And your soul shall live. Do you know what that means tonight? That means tonight you will be awakened to a new life. You will be awakened to a new experience that you have never had before. After I left the front of Corns' pub, I walked up to the church hall there in the main street and I looked at the church hall and I said to the Lord in my prayer as I stood there, Lord, thank you that it was in there where I came to know thee as Savior. And I can say tonight, none but Christ can satisfy none other name for me because there's love and there's life and there's everlasting joy, Lord Jesus, found in thee. You know, friend, tonight you have a soul that needs to be saved. And only Christ can save your soul. And I'll tell you this tonight, only Christ can satisfy the soul. There's people in the fill themselves with religion, and they're not one bit better than the boy that's drinking. No use. Only the Savior satisfies. Only He can bring in the inner joy. Only He can bring in the inner peace. Only He can satisfy that longing soul. Incline your ear. That is the plea that has sounded. Come unto me. That is the path that is seen. And your soul shall live. That's the promise that is sure tonight. But will you come? to the Lord Jesus so that your sins could be forgiven and that your soul shall live. It's only through the work of the cross tonight, not through any work that you can do, but through the work of the cross that your soul may live. Come to Christ tonight. That's how you can be saved. Ah, but to know Christ. That's how you're satisfied. Will you come tonight? Will you make him yours? Will you make this night your night? To come to him who not only saves, but satisfies. Let's bow in a wee word of prayer together. Father God, tonight we leave the eternal issues of this meeting with Thee. And pray, Lord, tonight that the unsaved who may be amongst us, Lord, indeed, tonight will find that in Christ not only is there salvation, but, Lord, satisfaction. We thank You, Lord, for the bread of life, he is the bread of life. And Lord, if they would only come to Him, they would know they should never hunger. And if they would believe in Him, they would never thirst. Oh, Lord, tonight, help them to come, whom to know is life eternal. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen.